Morning. So here we are, day six. Uh, be positive or positively, or what is it? It's a positivity challenge. I'm pretty sure you're probably not awake yet. That's okay. Um, I'm on my way to the dojo to help teach the ninja class this morning, but I wanted to stop and uh, Ring in on, on day six. Yesterday was a, a pretty big topic. I didn't get a whole lot of feedback, but I know you guys are busy with the holidays and the family. That's, that's good. Today, I just want to ask a simple question and see if we can get some answers and remind you to be positive. And uh, so I came up with a few questions. Morning, Molly. Morning, Damien. Um, we're talking about mindset a lot and, and how we use our you know, our thoughts to, to create our happiness and be positive and, and everything really boils down to your thoughts. It really does. When you, when you narrow it all down, all of your senses, you know, come to the conscious level of, of who you are and how you feel. How's it going, Mr. Huntley? Um, let me ask you this. There's a couple of questions. What is it that really makes you happy? And is your happiness truly determined by that thing, idea, feeling, whatever. Um, you know, we can go through the five senses. We can do all of our five senses. And, you know, there are certain smells that make people happy. I've, I've learned, to, you know, touch, taste, smell. And so, morning, Steve, uh, morning Andre Motley. Um, Mr. Burton's on too. So tell me about that. And then I've had some students that I've, that I've mentioned this to, and in my life, it, it it made, it made a difference. And I know as we get older, you know, when we were younger, we heard our parents say that music that you listen to is terrible. And it's going to, it, you know, makes you a bad person. And we, I think we've all grown up listening to that or listen to our parents say that. And now that I'm older and I listen to some of the music that's out there, I wonder if the music that some people listen to has a direct effect on being positive or negative uh, and however you define it of course or f feeling good about themselves or feeling happy what do you guys think you know is it just old age speaking or is there some truth to that um i've played a lot of different music sang for a lot of different bands in a lot of different genres and i can tell you that you know the journey tribute band you can't go wrong with journey <laughs> it's, it's uh people love journey and it, the the lyrics of the songs that we sing or that we do anyway are pretty much positive, even though some of them are about, you know, breakups and they're all pretty much about love. And um, it, I noticed the audience responds a lot differently than when I did the Dio, Ronnie James Dio tribute band. Um, that audience was also happy to hear the music and love the music and listen, Ronnie, Ronnie's great. And if you listen to his lyrics, they're a lot about magic and love and you now there's some some that aren't but most of them are but the audiences that i sang to uh, some of them were really aggressively we love this <laughs> it was a different feeling altogether is that positive i i don't know is it happy i don't know i also have a student and i, I won't name him out um i got a few students who play in bands but this guy's a pretty good musician as a matter of fact, he's a real good musician, and um, he writes his own material, and he's been doing it for years, and he had, he came to me, and he has anxiety and depression and, you know, anger issues, and <clears throat> he's an older gentleman, not real old, but, and I went and listened to one of his shows one night, and listened to one of the songs that he, writ he wrote and sang, and it was all about hating himself and the things that are going on, <laughs> and it was his song. <laughs> And, I, and that's where I really started thinking, you know, is there something to it? So uh, today I'd like to remind you, you know, to be grateful for the things that are around you, the people that, uh, that chimed in here, um, all the people that you love. Uh, really grateful this morning for my beautiful wife, as I am every day, uh, my beautiful life and my beautiful wife. <clears throat> the, the students that are waiting for me at the dojo, uh, you guys for chiming in. So be grateful. Uh, be positive, be happy, change somebody's life today. Let's answer the question though. What is it that makes you truly happy? Is there one or two things that make you truly happy? Are you dependent upon those one or two things to be happy all the time? If they disappeared from your life for a minute, a day, an hour, or the rest of your life, would you not be happy about it? Would you be unable to, to reacquaint yourself with your happiness? Um, 
I guess that's that's pretty much it. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Again, this is day six of our positive challenge. Uh, beautiful morning. Um, Mr. Motley, Mr. Abbott, my wife, and Mr. Huntley, uh, Mr. Burton, Miss Bowser, you're on there again. Good. Sarah. Hi, Sarah Killen. Um, good morning. Good morning, Mr. Burton. Um, I'm going to go teach now. I love you guys. Um, I think on starting on Monday, we've got one more day. Tomorrow, Sunday, I'll, I'll go live from this location. But I think on Monday, I want to try and go live from YouTube and see how that works. This is most comfortable for me, but we'll see what happens there. Again, day six, a positive challenge. Have a great day. I love you, and I'll talk to you later. Peace. Where's it at? There it is. Can't do the Facebook book because it's all opposite.